iconic battle of the filth, Pink Flamingos is one of the most notorious midnight movies of all time, one of John Waters' most famous films, and needs no introduction among cult film enthusiasts. It's unpolished, unfiltered, uninhibited, and in 2021, it was selected for preservation in the Library of Congress's United States National Film Registry. Someone has sent me a bell! Previously released on Laserdisc by Criterion, the film returns to the Criterion Collection on Blu-ray, just in time for its 50th anniversary. So I already got the disc out of its package. Here's the initial cover. Looks like it's wrapped in paper. So let's open it and see what's inside. Before I tear it off, let's see. It says, an exercise in poor taste. And this is, of course, director approved edition by John Waters. So here's the cover that's inside it. <laughs> of course, it comes with a Pink Flamingo's barf bag as well. That's a nice touch. So one of my favorite parts of any Criterion disc is, of course, the packet that comes inside. That's neat. It's got an essay, The Battle of Filth, by Howard Hampton. So last week I did a deep dive and I watched every special feature on the disc here. A lot of great ones, of course. Packaging-wise, I feel like a fucking idiot. Uh, one of the best gags from the movie is actually spelled out in plain view. There's no address here. It says right here, Babs Johnson, a trailer, Phoenix, Maryland. And of course, I also forgot that this is the tabloid magazine shown in the beginning. So as far as the picture quality goes, you know, anybody who's seen the film knows how low budget and grimy it looks. I would call it gloriously ugly. It definitely maintains the low budget charm you would hope for from a transfer like this, but it also allows the colors to pop more, especially the different hair dyes. I always mention I'm a sucker for commentaries, and this one has two commentaries on it. One was done in 1997 for the Laserdisc Criterion release, and then another was done in 2001 for a DVD release. I listen to both, and both are great. There are some similar stories that pop up here and there throughout each, but they're both different enough to where if you're a fan of the film or John Waters or you like commentaries, they're definitely worth listening to. John Waters mentioned that his mother was happy when he became an answer on Jeopardy. Something I found kind of funny is the Eggman was a real childhood memory for John, kind of like the Milkman. Um, we didn't have those when I was growing up. I knew about Milkman. I assume the Eggman was kind of a surreal gag he came up with to tie in with the Egg Lady, but apparently that was a real guy that just walked around and sold eggs, which I found interesting. In both commentaries, he talks a bit about the Manson family, because this came out just a few years after the Manson family murders, so they were a huge influence on the film. Uh, particularly in the 2001 commentary, he expresses a lot of disdain for hippies, so he calls the movie comedic terrorism aimed at hippies. <laughs> Something I didn't know, Little Richard used to send turds to people in the mail as well. Shut up! And in both commentaries, he mentions the trans woman at the park was one of the first to receive sex reassignment surgery at Johns Hopkins Center in Baltimore. For the other features, there's a good documentary on here called Divine Trash, which is about an hour and a half long and focuses a lot on when John was making the film Pink Flamingos, and also features a lot of new and old interviews with people involved and people who were influenced by him. Steve Buscemi's in there. For the Criterion disc, there's two new special features. One is a conversation with Jim Jarmusch and John Waters, which was good. And my favorite is the one where John Waters visits a few locations from the film and talks to the people who live in those places today. There's a 25th anniversary retrospective, which also features some deleted scenes and some interviews from that time. And just as I was hoping, this does feature the trailer for the film, which is one of my favorite trailers of all time. Not a single clip from the movie is shown, it's all just people talking about it and critic reviews and audio of people responding in theaters. <laughs> Better than cries and to me, if you've never seen this movie, that's the perfect introduction to it. Pink Flamingos was a huge milestone for true low-budget filmmaking. If you're a fan of John Waters or Pink Flamingos, this Blu-ray disc is a must-own. Most of the film is still just as grotesque and shocking as it once was 50 years ago, and today remains a disgusting and hilarious piece of punk rock filmmaking.
Could you give us some of your political beliefs? Kill everyone now. Condone first-degree murder. Advocate cannibalism. Eat shit. Filth are my politics. Filth is my life.